In today's video, we will be talking about Merge Sort as one of the algorithm design strategy. What is a Merge Sort? Merge Sort is a divide and conquer algorithm which divides the input array into two halves and calls itself for another two halves and then merge the two halves. By using Merge Sort, the input array or the given problem array they will be divided into two halves and also using this given halves to have another halves and then merge it. In continuation, merge sort has two functions which involve in this algorithm. The first one is merge function which is used for merging two halves. Function is usually used for merging two halves or in other words, this function is used to combine two or more array values or we can identify it using the word merge which means to combine. The second one is the merge sort function which recursively calls itself to divide the array until the size becomes one. This function recursively calls itself to divide the array that means to relate or it is constituting a procedure that repeat itself indefinitely ito yung tinatawag na ulit-ulit hanggang di pa naabot ang tamang pagkakataon para tumigil in application of this function the recursion process of merging and sorting will not end or stop until the given array becomes one yung pinaka goal ng merge sort is to end up one single array no matter how the value is presented kung sorted ba siya or hindi while yung merge function is to end up as a whole array pero nakasort na siya from lowest to highest value. So that is the difference between merge sort and merge function. In combining merge and merge sort function, we will end up a single array list in which the value will be sorted according to the size of each value. We have here a sample array problem to solve and as you can see, it has an unsorted data in an array list. As what we observe in this array list, it has a total of 7 blocks of an array and then it has unsorted data value kung mapapansin po natin ano. Technically speaking, we can use some program to resolve this array problem. So meron tayong mga uh, ready-made programming languages to resolve this problem. But the purpose of an algorithm is not to focus on how fast or slow we can come up with the result, but this is to appreciate on how the step-by-step -step process in coming up these stages of patterns with respect to merge sort until we come up the final answer. The first step for us to apply the use of merge sort as a technique in solving this array problem is to have a perspective division of an array list. Paano ba natin hahatiin ang pitong array blocks? We're going to divide it using the given values of an array. And on this stage, we are going to put an indicator and boundary and call it left and right index respectively. Now, why is that the boundary is in between 4 and 39? Bakit hindi pwede si 10 and 4 or kaya naman si 39 at 14? The answer is this. If we sum up the values of the left index, we are going to have a total of 54. Kung mapapansin nyo, yung data from 25 plus 15 plus 10 plus 4 is 54. And if we are going to sum up the values in the right index, we will be having a total of 60. That is 39 plus 14 plus 7 is equals to 60. Now to prove that our decision in placing the left and right index with a boundary is true or correct is the left index less than the right index so if yes we're going to execute this formula so 60 and 54 is much closer to each other and since we are on the process of solving it using merge sort therefore we are going to use the two given functions which is the merge and merge sort function and that concludes that our left and right index is correct next is uh, we are going to use the merge sort function to the given array into two halves and that is why in the left index 
we have separated the values of 25 and 15 as well as the values of 10 and 4. The same with the right index, we are going to divide the given array. Since 39 is much higher than 14 and 7, we are not going to separate 39 and 14. But instead, we are going to separate 14 and 7 and then 39 will be automatically separated from among them. After successfully integrating the merge sort function, as you can see in the current given array, after the last application of merge sort, this will become an individual array list value, which is, if we look for the goal of merge sort, it will recursively divide the given array until the value becomes 1. So by this time, we are going to stop using merge sort and then proceed to the merge function. Now in this stage, we're going to sort the individual array list values and combine it using merge function. As you can notice, the values of each array list is being sorted according to its values, like the values of 25 and 15 will be merged to combine into 15 and 25 as a separate array list from the original individual position. So yung 25 at saka 15, gamit yung merge function will be combined as one array list. The same with 10 and 4, they will be combined using merge function into one array list which is 4 and 10. So kung mapapansin po natin, yung values ng original position will be uh, sorted according to the size of their values like 15 and 25. So syempre, 15 is much lesser than 25 and then 4 is much less than 10. As well in the right index, we are going to use the merge function in order for us to have a combined array list value. So like 7 is less than 14, so that's why we have here 7 and 14 as separate array list and then we are going to put down the 39 value since it is the only one that is being left. Again, we are going to use the merge function in order for us to combine the given array. Then like in the previous stage of using merge function, we are now going to sort it separately from left and right index. So here it comes. If we compare the values of 15 and 4, we are going to get the value of 4 as less than 15. So that's why we have 4 as our first value in an array list. And then if we compare 15 to 10, 10 is much lesser than the value of 15. So that's why we're going to take the value of 10 as our second array list value. And then we have to compare the value of 15 by 25. And that's why we have 15 as our third array list value. And then since 25 is the last one in the left index, we're going to put it down in the array list. The same process will be done in the right index. We're going to uh, sort it according to the size of its values. Okay. The first thing is we're going to compare the values of 7 to 14. So 7 is much less than the value of 14. So that's why we have 7 as our first array list value in the right index. And then if we compare the value of 14, hindi na natin pwedeng gamitin si 7 kasi nakuha na natin siya. We're going to compare the value of 14 over 39. And then 14 will be our second spot for array list. And then put down the 39 as the last number for our array value. Now since we only have two sets of array list, we can still use the merge function to finally come up with what we are aiming to have. That is by means of comparing the values of the left and the right index, whoever is the lowest will be prioritized. So we're going to compare the values of left and right index according to their sizes of values. Okay, the first one is we're going to compare the values of 
4 and 7. So which is the lowest will be prioritized. So since 4 is much lowest than 7, therefore we are going to get 4 as our first value for our Next is we're going to compare the value of 7 versus 10. And since 7 is much lowest than 10, 7 will be our next uh, array value for our list. And then we're going to compare the value of 10 versus 14. And since 10 is lower than 14, therefore we're going to get 10 as our third element in an array list. We're going to compare the value of 14 over 15. Since 14 is much lower than 15, therefore 14 is our fourth uh, value for our array list. And then we're going to compare the value of 15 and 39. Since 15 is much lower than 39, we're going to get 15 as our fifth value in our array list. And then the last that we are going to compare is 39 versus 25. Since 25 is much lower than 39, we are going to get 25 as our sixth element for our array list. And then put down the 39 as our, as our last element. As you can see, the array list from the problem is being sorted using merge and merge sort function. And that concludes on how merge sort work using its two main functions.